someone asked to compare Puerto Rico to Dubai. And if I could, you know, from what I've learned and from picked up from you, if, if someone is a business owner versus it may be a different, I mean, everybody's situation is going to be completely unique, purely from a tax point of view. If it is your business owner, you might be a set, you may be leaning in one to one jurisdiction. Whereas if you were uh, an employee, then you may lean towards another. So if it is that you have earned income, then if you earn income as a bona fide resident of Puerto Rico, you're going to be paying tax at the marginal tax rate, which goes up to 30 something percent. Whereas if you sit in Dubai, the first, well, it moves with inflation under Section 911. So right now it's the first 112,000 of income will be tax free once you form the file of Form 2555 and whatever. So it could be completely tax free both to Dubai because Dubai has no taxes. Mm -hmm. A little bit of an asterisk there because it does, but generally speaking, no taxes to Dubai, and at least the first hundred and twelve thousand can be tax free to the U.S. Above that, you pay to the U.S. So again, generally speaking, if you are a mid, lower to mid level income earner, then maybe Dubai will be better off for you. If it is that you are an investor, because of the the benefit with no capital gains, then Puerto Rico is definitely the one for you because. They being a, a resident of Dubai is not going to shelter you from U.S. capital gains taxes. If it is that you are a business owner trying to run a company, you're probably not going to be much better off either way because guilty is going to catch you. So, so that it's, it really depends on your portfolio, what your income streams may be. But generally speaking, I, I think those are some of the considerations of, as a U.S. taxpayer. If you're not a U.S. taxpayer, it's completely different. Uh, okay. Uh, any, any thoughts on that? Any feedback on that? No, it's, it's kind of interesting, but certainly uh, you, you, you learn correctly what Puerto Rico rules are. Uh, but yeah. it all depends, right? Principally yeah. with the line that you said that streamlines of income. That changed yeah. basically everything uh, from the decision making uh, mm -hmm. to see if it's if Puerto Rico actually makes sense or Dubai, mm -hmm. etc. Uh, because certainly uh, Puerto Rico is kind of the only places, small small amounts of places that you can keep your citizenship, right? Still a U.S. citizen, and don't mm -hmm. pay U.S. taxes on capital gains, passive certain passive income. Uh, but it's important, right? It's not only the type of income that you generate; it's the source of the income that was mm -hmm. generated. Uh, because you may be fully exempt at Puerto Rico on interest and dividends, but they still may they may still subject to U.S. taxes because they are foreign sources. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, so if you're a six, seven, or eight figure investor, entrepreneur, or business owner who needs a tailor made solution from a qualified team of professionals, we can help you achieve the international lifestyle, the freedom, and even the tax savings you're looking for. Visit us at htj.tax and live that international life.